Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm very excited to show you the Flavor of the Month card kit for Scrapping for Less. This is their October card kit, and their October card kits are always really fabulous. They're Christmas themed, and this year's theme is Christmas Around the World. I'm starting off by showing you the ingredients page for this card kit, and they also provide you with card sketches to get those creative juices flowing. The Double Dip Sunday ingredients includes four different collections, and I'm going to open them up for you here in just a minute. I just love how they package these. They're so much fun. And then you're going to get some beautiful cardstock. They're always very high quality, heavyweight cardstocks. And the two white pieces I always use for my card bases. If you subscribe to the banana split level, you get everything in the Double Dip Sunday plus this extra pack of goodies. Okay, so let's start with collection one. And this collection is called Holiday Flowers. Let me pull all the ingredients out of this baggie. I just love the stamp set that they included in this one. It is from Scrapping for Less. And it's a Mexican holiday stamp. Look at that cute Papa Noel. I had so much fun coloring him in with my colored pencils. You get some pretty flowers that you punch out. And then you get an envelope in each collection. You always get some beautiful pattern paper. I love that one in particular. And they're always very nice and heavyweight. And they are double sided. You get a beautiful ribbon from Doris and some Gina Marie Designs enamel dots. Here is collection two, and it's called Australian Christmas. That's exactly where I want to be this Christmas, where it's nice and hot. There's so many fun things included in these little collections. It's always fun to see what is inside. I really love these colored flags included in this collection. There's several of them, and they are like stickers. You just peel off the release paper. The stamp set is called Surfing Santa, and it's from Sunny Studio Stamps. You get a beautiful card that all you have to do is color it in and send it to someone. It even includes an envelope. Let me pull it out of the cellophane bag to show you. It's just a beautifully drawn Santa, and the envelope is cute. The flap is up at the top. And it has adhesive on it. You just have to peel off the release paper. The pattern paper is called Australian Christmas, and it was made by Scrapping for Less. It's also double-sided. and has a nice weight to it. I really loved all of these patterns, especially the striped ones. They're all so fun. I like to keep all of my collections separated and just use what's included in the bag. It's just a fun challenge. And I come up with cards that I wouldn't have come up with on my own. Collection number three is called Nordic Winter. This stamp set is called A Swedish Christmas, and it's by Scrapping for Less and Tawny Owl Papery. You'll either get sugar dust or white sequins from Scrapping for Less. You get some beautiful ephemera pieces. They're from Pink Paisley. I love using ephemera pieces on my cards. They make for some really fast and fun cards. You're going to get some twine by Doris. The pattern paper is from Scrapping for Less, and it's called Nordic Winter. I love the little bunnies on this one. I really love these soft browns and oranges and blues in this pattern paper. You can create a lot of cards from each of these collections. They're just packed with beautiful things. Collection number four is called A Warm and Cozy Christmas. I really had a lot of fun using this stamp in this collection. It is called O Tannenbaum, and that's by Scrapping for Less. It's just beautiful. You get some more ephemera pieces. They are heavy chipboard pieces. These are some more enamel dots. 
And then you get something really fun in this collection. You get a foil mate and some beautiful green foil from Gina K Designs. So you can add some beautiful shine to that sentiment. And the pattern paper is called A Warm and Cozy Christmas by Scrapping for Less. All of the pattern papers from these collections have a glossy sheen to them. And I just love the look of it. With some of the papers in this collection, you can make up some masculine holiday cards. Next up is the cardstock. You get two pieces of the Nina Solar White. You get Timber Green, Snow Cone, Banana Split, Wild Cherry, Night Shift Navy, and Black Licorice. If you subscribe to the Banana Split level, you get everything I just showed you plus an extra little goodie bag. And let's see what's inside this. You get a cute little wood slice ornament and a piece of twine. A bottle of Stickles Glitter Glue, and yours might be a different color. I got the red one. And a Christmas sentiment stamp set from Scrapping for Less. You'll also get a Merry Christmas die, but I don't have it here. Okay, let's jump into our first card. Of course, I have to use this darling little stamp set. I'm going to stamp out Papa Noel. I'm using a piece of paper that's a specialty paper or colored pencils. I'll have the links below. And I'm just going to use some black dye ink to stamp him out. I'm going to use my mini Misty because I do need to stamp it out several times because this is a new stamp set. And I like a nice dark crisp line. I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And look how cute he is. For the sake of time, I'm not going to show my coloring in this video, but I just wanted to show you how cute he stamps out. I just love this stamp set. I colored him in using some Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, and then I used some odorless mineral spirits to smoothen out the lines, and I used a rectangle die to cut him out. Now I can cut down some of my papers. I'm going to use one of the card sketches to create this card. I'm cutting down a piece of the snow cone cardstock. My colors are going to be this pale blue and red, kind of untraditional, but I really like how it turned out. And now I can adhere the other cardstocks down on top of this. The background behind the Papa Noel is kind of blue, so that ties in my snow cone cardstock. And I'm going to prop him up with some foam tape. I added a piece of timber green cardstock behind my Papa Noel just to have him stand out a little more. And now I can work on my sentiment. And of course, I have to use the sentiment that came in the stamp set. It says Feliz Navidad. I really love this sentiment. With these collections, you can really create some fun and unique Christmas cards to send out to your family and friends. I used some Hero Arts embossing ink to stamp out my sentiment, and now I'm just pouring on the white embossing powder. And I'm going to melt that with my heat tool. Such a beautiful font on this sentiment, too. I stamped that onto another piece of the Timber Green cardstock. I cut it down to size, and now I am going to adhere it to the front of my card. I really love how this card turned out. I'm going to use some of the white cardstock, actually all of it, <laughs> for my card bases. So I cut it down the middle at four and a quarter, and now I'm scoring it at five and a half. I'm going to go ahead and just create all of my card bases at once. I'm going to use some dry adhesive to attach my panel onto my card base. For a last touch, I'm going to use some of the enamel dots from this collection and just put three of them around my card. That looks so cute. And that completes my first card with collection number one. I'll show you a close up of the card as well as the sketch that I used to create it. This is such a fun and unique stamp set. 
I'm going to make up more cards using Papa Noel and color him in with different mediums. On card number two, I'm using the Australian Christmas collection. I cut out a circle with some white cardstock, and I'm going to stamp my little Santa and his surfboard on this. And I'm creating a mask so that I can put his surfboard behind him. So I just partially cut that out. And now I can stamp out the surfboard. I'm using another card sketch to create this card. And I needed my little scene to be on this circle. I'm also going to stamp out the palm tree a couple times. And I debated whether to do this in color or black and white. And I thought I'll just do black and white. So it's kind of a silhouette. I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink again for this. I'm going to pull out my Arteza alcohol markers to color in these images. And this ink is perfect for that. It doesn't smear. I'm pulling out a piece of acetate to put the stamp down on to stamp it out a second time. This will protect my project from getting smudged with ink. And then I just place it where I want it and pick it up with the door and pull off the acetate. That way I don't have to clean it off again before I stamp it. It's just a handy little trick. <laughs> I'm going to fit the sentiment right at the top of this circle. And I'll stamp that out with more of the black ink. I think that looks so cute. And now I can get started on my coloring. He's going to be a very pale Santa in dire need of some sunshine. This is the first day of his vacation after spending months in the North Pole without a lot of sunshine. These Arteza art markers are really great because you can get into the small little corners of this stamp set very easily. It has such a nice small tip to it on this side. The other side has a chisel tip on it. I'm going to color in a little scene behind him. He's going to be standing on the beach. And I start the sand up at the top by the little palm trees. I'm using two colors for this. I'm using a lighter color on the sand. And then I'll come in with a darker color and just put little dots to indicate sand. I think that adds a lot. And of course, I have to put shadows under him and his surfboard and the trees. Then I'm using a blue for the ocean behind him. I will have all of the colors that I use listed over on my blog. I'm coming in with a darker red marker now to add a little bit of shading to his hat and shorts. And that is it for my coloring. Such a fun little stamp set. And now it's time to put this card together. I'm using this cute piece of striped paper and I attached it to more of the timber green cardstock. I really loved this timber green. I didn't know I would like it so much. I'm going to have to get some for my stash. And I'm also going to use one of these adhesive banners. I put it on a piece of the yellow cardstock to mat it. This way it'll stand out from the bold pattern on my card. I'm going to adhere this down with some dot liner. And then for my little scene, I'm going to put some foam tape behind this to pop it up. I'm putting a lot of tape behind it so that when I send it out in the mail, it won't sag or get crushed. You could also use fun foam for this. And I can center that on my card. I'm going to use one more of the banners. These are so fun to use. I'll just peel off the release paper and stick that at the top of my card. I thought that was a cute little touch. And now for some more enamel dots. I'm using my pen knife to attach these. It just gets my fingers out of the way so I can see where they would look good. And that's my finished card. This one has to be my favorite of the four that I created in this video. I'm using another card sketch for my next card. 
And I'm going to be using a lot of the ephemera pieces on this one. I stamped Happy Day from the stamp set on this teeny tiny little tag that I cut out. And I pre-cut out all of my papers. I'm going to make it as close as I can to this card sketch. So I'm adding my lacy border at the bottom. And then next, a piece of this beautiful blue patterned paper. I'm attaching all of these pieces to a piece of the Night Shift Navy cardstock. And there are a lot of layers to this card. And now for the little circle. And the circle is going to be my focal point. I'm using the piece of twine at the bottom of this card. The picture kind of shows a ribbon, but I think the twine looks really cute. I'm going to secure that on the back side of this card with some score tape. And then I always like to use a glue dot behind my bows to keep them in place. And I'm using a little bit of liquid glue to keep the ends of the bow in place. Just holding that down for a second to let it dry. Next, I'm going to attach my little tag with a dot of glue. It looks as though it's attached to the string, but it isn't, <laughs> which is nice. I didn't have to put it on the string. And I'm going to adhere down this large Christmas die cut. I just thought that was so pretty. And I just adhered that down flat onto the card. I'm attaching a die cut right in the center of my circle. And I just loved this little sprig of leaves. It has little gold foiling details on it. And I'm going to adhere that down flat onto my card base. I cut my panel smaller than my card base because I like to see the white of the frame peeking behind it. And then, of course, I have to use some of these beautiful red stickles over some of the berries. Not all of them because I do love the gold foiling on the berries and a few on the circle die cut. And here is my finished card. I really love how this one turned out and I used another die cut piece inside the card and I stamped Merry Christmas in there. And now for my last card and my last card sketch, I'm going to use this beautiful Christmas tree stamp. I'm going to stamp it out using my mini Misty. I'm rubbing the stamp with my fingers just to condition it a little bit so it will accept the ink. And I'm using a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock to stamp this onto. I'll pick up the stamp with the lid of my Misty. And I'm going to stamp this using a fun ink pad from Hero Arts. This is their green ombre ink pad. I've had it in my stash for ages, but I don't use it very often. But I thought this was the perfect opportunity to pull it out. I don't want to stamp the star on top green, so I'm going to protect that with a post-it note. And this ink pad has three different colors of green on it. And I'm just kind of adding that back and forth over the stamp. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the colors of this ink pad. I'm going to damp it up a few times. This is one of those instances that a stamp positioner really comes in handy. This ink will stain your stamp, but it doesn't harm it. It's just stained, so that's okay. I'm pulling out a pad of yellow ink next to stamp out the little star. I'm going to protect the green of the Christmas tree with the same post-it note and stamp up the star a couple of times. I just love how that turned out. This is such a fun stamp. Makes for quick Christmas cards as well. The sentiment, I want nice and crisp, so I'm going to stamp that out with some Versify and Onyx black ink, and I'm stamping it right over the top of the Christmas tree. Here's another fun Christmas sentiment stamp for you. This says Merry Christmas in German, and it's pronounced Frohe Weihnachten. Probably butchered that, but thought I'd give it a shot. And now to put this card together, I'm using several different pattern papers and card stocks, and I've already cut them down to size. I'm trying to follow the card sketch very closely. 
I liked the first card sketch because it had the dimensions written on there for you. That made life very easy. I'm going to use my corner chompers to round the corners of the top of this Christmas tree panel. I used one of my scallop dies on the bottom of this card just to match the card sketch. And before I put the Christmas tree panel down, I'm going to put some foam tape behind it to prop it up a bit. I'm just adding foam tape to the top and the bottom of this panel because the red cardstock in the middle of my card is so thick. And the last thing I'm going to do on this card is add some more of the red stickles so they look like red ornaments on this tree. And when it dries, they look so sparkly and fun. I just love this stuff. So here is the completed project. This Christmas Around the World card kit is on sale now. I have the links below as well as over on my blog. I have a feeling that this card kit is going to sell out fast. So if you're thinking about buying this kit, I wouldn't wait too long. I really had fun designing cards with this beautiful kit, and I'm going to be making lots more Christmas cards to send out to my family and friends. I love getting a head start on my Christmas card crafting. Thanks for joining me, my crafty friends. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!